In this video, I'm going to continue talking about LGAML digital signatures, specifically why they work. Well, first, as a review, recall that when we sent our message, we sent the message M, and then we sent our variables R and S. So, First, um, I'd like to go through why the math of it works. And then I'll talk about why we can't actually solve it, so to speak. So first, our S, which is part of one of, the, one of the things we sent here, we know that it equals to K inverse times M minus R, minus AR. So just rearranging this statement a little bit, we have SK equals m minus ar and then moving the ar over we solve for m equals sk plus ar now another thing we know as part of the verification process is that v2 equals alpha to the m so if we assume that this is true then alpha will also equal to SK, or excuse me, V2 will also equal alpha to the SK plus AR, which we can rewrite as alpha to the SK times alpha to the AR. And then recalling just the properties, we know that we know that R equals alpha to the K, that's just part of the signature. So this is R, and then beta equals alpha to the A, that's just part of LGAML, that's assumed. So when we rewrite it like this, we could also say that it equals R to the S times beta to the R, which inherently we defined as being V1. So this is why V1 equals V2. Now, the reason why we can't um, undermine the system is because both A and K are private. So in order to sign our message M up here, we need to send R and S. Now, R is not hard is, excuse me, it's um, not hard to calculate if you have K. However, um, we would need to, we would need to solve this problem, which is a discrete, a discrete log problem. However, since K is random, that's not really an issue since it changes each time. If we intercept one of these, we can replicate a new message that says um, something M, the message that we want it to say, and then R we can formulate because K is random each time. However, the S is a problem because if you recall, S is calculated via this process. Now, Eve, the person who wants to falsify a message, she can make up a new K each time. She can make up her own message. Um, she can calculate her own R, but she doesn't have this variable A. And remember that beta must equal alpha to the A. So in order for the A to work, um, it has to equal to beta, so we must um, know this A to calculate the S to verify. And this problem here is a discrete a discrete log problem and assuming you set it up correctly is too hard to reasonably solve which is why you could potentially Eve could potentially send her message M with R but she could not send S without solving for this A here which is a discrete log problem again and too hard to do